3.5 derivatives of trig functions worked out problems. This is the yeah, first time I got into what I feel like the calculus course is going to be like. You get problems and you just have to practice. All right. And just the more you practice, the more you'll internalize these things. Derivative of sine is cosine, derivative of tangent is secant squared x. And that's it. You just got to get quicker at it. Now, this one's a little trickier. I almost always rewrite this, even though I can do it off the top of my head. This is one that students don't get tight for a long time. Negative one over x squared. So negative, negative two, and I float it to the bottom. And this is the point where I remind myself to slow down. Because if I go too fast, bad things gonna happen. Leave it. Derivative, derivative, leave it. Oh, but we can factor out a secant and just don't, don't. Keep it as simple as possible. Do not make your life more complicated. This is the same as four secant of x. Oops. I can't believe I'm doing this. No, that's secant. Yeah. So the uh, y prime equals four secant x tangent x. If you did it this way, and I would write it that way to make sure I remember, then you get a massive pain in the butt. No, I would not write it that way. You're not ready for that. Four over cosine of x. And you get low d high minus high d low over low squared, which is four sine of x secant squared x. which is the sine of a cosine tangent. So really we'd write, rather write that as secant x tangent x. That's the fun thing is you can do it lots of different ways, but you should always get the same answer. Low, d high minus high, D low Done. Now this is actually reminds me of uh, trig identity. So I bet this is going to simplify really, really nicely. I think I'm going to need a lot of space here. So low d high minus high d low. equals negative sine of x minus sine squared x minus cosine squared x or one plus sine of x squared. I'm gonna factor a negative out this becomes one. One plus sine of x cancels. I get negative one over one plus sine of x. And I'm sure there was an easier way to do that. 
weight hanging from above. V of T equals S prime of T equals negative seven sine of T. A of T equals V of prime of T equals S double prime of T equals negative seven cosine of T. Describing its motion, we'd start it up. Yeah, let's call it a Bob. Bob started up seven meters. Then down to negative seven meters and then oscillated. Wow, my hands get sore doing all these problems. Body's moving simple harmonic motion. Find the body's velocity, blah, 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 blah. Okay. V of T equals S prime of T equals four sine of T. V of pi over four equals four. No, thinking of pi over two. V of pi over four equals four times root two over two equals two root two units, meters per second. Speed, absolute value of two root two, two root two meters per second. A of T equals S double prime of T equals four cosine of T. A of pi over four equals the exact same thing except different units. V of t equals s prime of t equals negative sine of t minus three cosine of t. V of pi over four equals negative root two over two minus three root two over two equals negative four root two over two, which is negative two root two. And then A of T equals S double prime of T equals negative cosine of t plus three sine of t. A of pi over four equals, and I forgot the speed, didn't I? I'll put it in up there, is uh, negative root two over two plus three root two over two, three minus one is two, or two equals root two meters per second squared. Speed equals absolute value. Two root two meters per second. Good. 
Body is moving a simple movement motion, position function, find the jerk. So let's just run right through it. S prime of T equals two cosine of T. S double prime of T equals negative two sine of T. S triple prime of T equals negative two cosine of T. Jerk equals negative two cosine of T. Fine, equation lines of tangent normal graph. I think I pulled this directly off of my quiz. Dy, it looks like that did. Dy dx equals secant x tangent x. Dy dx, x equals pi over four equals one over cosine of pi over four. times tangent pi over four, which is one, one over root two over two, which is root two. So we just get root two. No units. X equals pi over four, Y equals, interesting secant of pi over four, which I'm not writing as one over cosine because we just did this, that's two. So the point is pi over four comma root two. So tangent y minus root two equals root two x minus pi over four minus plus root two. Normal. Y equals one over negative one over root two X minus pi over four plus root two. I did not rationalize it. I didn't see the need. Prove that derivative of this is that. And rid of that is this. Equals low D high minus high D low. over sine squared. Factor out the negative and you get equals negative one over sine squared x, which is negative cosecant squared x. DDx, one over sine of x equals low D high minus high D low over sine squared. Cosine over sine is cosecant, one over sine is, pardon me, cotangent, one over sine is cosecant, negative, and we like to put the cosecant first. All right, it's all good practice. Show that the graphs of tangent and cotangent have no horizontal tangents. I do not know what that could possibly mean. Yeah, I guess you're right. So, dy dx equals secant squared x which looks like
Come back to you. dy dx equals negative cosecant squared x. And I have to graph this on a calculator. Graph the other one, I was happy with it, but this one I'm not so sure about. Uh, mode, radians, cool, so we quit. Y equals, gotta be careful here because we don't have cosecant. So it has to be, uh, one over cosecant, I gotta put a negative up there. Uh, Uh, so cosecant is one over sine, so that would be parentheses sine of x squared. Such a pain on these calculators. Graph it. Yeah, that's what I thought. I don't know the mistake in my notes. So, slope never crosses x axis equals zero. No horizontal tangents. There you go. It's hard work. But the greatest one is a tangent normal curve. It's cake. Y prime equals root two negative sine of x, y prime of pi over four, negative root two times root two over two equals negative one. For a change, they gave me the point, so tangent y minus one equals negative one, x minus pi over four was minus one, so plus one. And normal equals x minus pi over four plus one. Cool. Find equation for tangent, curve, Point, let's find the equation of any horizontal tangents. Hmm, maybe we work here. How dare they? Y prime equals negative co, right? Secant squared x plus two cosecant x cotangent x. Y prime at x equals pi over two equals one over sine of pi over two is one, so that's negative one. Plus two times one. Cotangent of pi over two is zero. Equals negative one. So tangent. y minus two equals negative x minus pi over two minus two plus two. Normal, y equals x minus pi over two
I didn't ask for that. RTFQ. Read the full question. Okay. Now, I want to find the horizontal tangents. And what I'm going to do is pull this. This one's a little tough. The This is a more typical math problem too. You actually have to sit down and really work at it. Not just, oh yeah, that's easy. Take some time. Four plus, I'll probably use this to do this with a fraction. Cotangent, cosine of x, sine of x. That was dumb. I think you got a second right to get you there. Ooh, how cool is that? Plus cosine over sine squared, right? And there's a two in there. I'm looking at the derivative. Oh, silly. Delete, delete, delete. It's four plus cotangent x minus two cosecant of x. I can leave that, right? Cosecant one over sine. Yeah, okay, I'm good. And just go here and delete. Kale, two. Graph. Maybe this can take a little longer. Eh, it's kind of cool looking, I'm not gonna lie. Copy it over onto a sheet of paper now. All right, so. There we have it. Graph both lines in the original curve. Any horizontal tangents. All right, well, what is the derivative equal zero? That's what I need to do. So negative cosecant squared x plus two cosecant x cotangent of x equals zero. Factor out of cosecant two cotangent of x minus cosecant x equals zero. Cosecant is one over sine, cannot equal zero, so we can toss it out. And here we have two cosine over sine minus one over sine. So two cosine of x minus one over sine of x, got a little carried away with my underbar there, equals zero. So cosine of x, equals one half, this is not an arc sine problem, arc cosine problem, cosine of x equals one half. That happens at No, cosine's negative over here. Yeah, five pi over three. Yeah, let's see what happens. So that's my x. Uh, we got to plug in some values here. Well, it's a horizontal, so I just got to figure out where that point is. So that's a y equal. So plug this in and plug that into the original equation. Y of pi over three, and I'm out of space. So it's yeah, four minus root three, and y of five pi over three equals four plus root three, I guess that makes some degree of sense. Oops. So this would be 
y equals 4 plus root 3. And this would be y equals 4 minus root 3. Cool. Oh, yeah, and the other point was like, uh, yeah, I didn't graph this quite right. Or did I? Yeah, I did. Hmm. Then my other one's been second. Pi over two. Yeah, it's like over here somewhere. That's y equals negative x minus pi over 2 plus 2. Wow, a lot of work going on. That feels like a AP response question. So good practice. Good luck. Happy mathing.